What's going on everybody? This is Xander Compton with uh, Rocky Bluff Kennels. I want to thank you for checking out my um, Facebook page. Everybody who's checked out my Facebook page and liked it. Um, keep on checking in. I'll keep on posting videos. Um, and also be, be, feel free to share it with your friends and, uh, and uh, have some of them like it. I'm just trying to build some build an audience right now uh, and also be sure to check out my uh, YouTube page it's under Rocky Bluff Kennels as well and uh, you can check that out and subscribe to it and, uh, I'd really appreciate it but I'm gonna keep on posting videos to the Facebook uh, so you can look at them there too um, <clears throat> I want to give a shout out real quick to uh, one of my viewers on um, Todd Jones a buddy of mine from right here in, in Sumter and uh, he used my uh, how to teach a dog to load video had his dog loading in 20 minutes um, I always appreciate that kind of feedback if uh, if y'all have any you know uh, send it in I really like to hear about that kind of stuff and also Todd requested that I post a video on teaching a dog to or getting a dog lead broke and uh, Todd I'm, I'm I'm working on it uh, I'm trying to trying to get it worked out I, I tried to do it earlier and it didn't really work out but uh, you know it's coming uh, that's a very important topic and uh you know, I'll definitely try to post you a video soon and one that where I'm not just sitting here talking to you, I can actually show you. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video real quick um, on, a, on a really important subject, especially for for beginners, uh, guys who are just getting in, and uh, that is on the subject of buying a dog or a pup. Um, and, you know, a lot of you guys, uh, you know, the first thing you do is get on coondogs.com or uh, you know, on Facebook, on a Facebook page, and, and you're looking for the first dog that's within your price range, and uh, you go and pick them up, and a lot of times, unfortunately, you get disappointed with it, and, and it takes you quite a while and a, and a lot of uh, time and money and heartache to finally find a dog that you like. Um, so, having said that, I wanted to um, get into some tips that I have in my experiences with dog buying. And, uh, and and share those with you real quick. Um, first of all, uh, the biggest thing that you need to remember with anything, and it's not really just dogs, but uh, you get what you pay for. Um, a good, you know, broke coon dog, uh, you really not gonna find a decent one for less than fifteen hundred dollars. And I know a lot of you. Uh, probably cringe when I just said that but it's it's the truth uh, nobody in their right mind is gonna let go of a dog that's running and treeing and treeing coons every night for less than fifteen hundred dollars uh, when you see a dog on the internet that's posted that you know you can get him he's running and treeing doing it with or without company you know doesn't run any trash not ill you know the perfect dog you know and people want three hundred dollars for him that's just not that's not true. Either that or them people have some really uh, <clears throat> really low standards, I guess you could say. Um, so a lot of times them dogs are going to have some kind of major flaw, uh, whether they hang around your feet or they like to fight or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, a lot of times they have a major flaw or, you know, really a lot of times, unfortunately, in, in the world we live in today, it's just completely dishonest and and uh, you know the dog won't do anything. Um, so my advice to anybody to send the market for a new dog is to, um, if you want them to find a started dog, first of all, be prepared to spend a little bit of money. Uh, and for a started dog, which I, what I would consider a started dog is a dog that's uh, running in a tree in a hot coon. Uh, you know, maybe not necessarily uh, being able to finish out a bad track or you know, just isn't a broke dog yet. Um, yeah. I would, I would say, you know, you're probably looking at paying anywhere between eight hundred or a thousand dollars for a dog like that. Um, on up into the broke dogs, you could pay anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars to, you know, uh, for a dog, you know, like maybe even like a, you know, on the high side for a, a good Grand Night Champion, you may be looking at ten thousand dollars you know and that's in a lot of you probably think that's a ridiculous number but it's really not uh, you know people have sold dogs like that uh, for the past in the past for that price um, 
And so if you want to buy a dog like that, just be prepared to spend a little bit of money. Uh, because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to find those cheap trader dogs and you're going to pay $200 here and $200 there. And in the, in the, in the end, you're going to end up spending the same amount of money. So uh, if you're looking to do that, then, then uh, you know, be prepared to spend a little bit of money. Also, what I would uh, suggest is if you get the dog, uh, go hunting with the dog a few times. Uh, not just one time, um, you know, because the dog may, may have a bad night, uh, you know, and you may, may pass up the opportunity to get a good dog. Uh, but, you know, also you may, you know, you may go with the dog. He might look real good on one night, and then the next two nights you go with him look real bad. Uh, and you want to see kind of both sides of it. And um, I would also suggest that you get um, that you could get the dog on like a two-week trial or something like that. Those those work too. Um, anybody who's selling a dog and says, "I you know one price for on the chain, one price for in the woods." best thing for you to do is just not waste your time with them at all. Um, now for buying a pup, I would recommend that you do your research on bloodlines and uh, you know find you a good good well-bred pup um, and you know that's that's what I've ended up doing. You know I, I quit trying to mess with started dogs because I was having uh, so much bad luck with it and I ended up just buying and raising my own pups and to me that's the best route to go. Um, but you know a lot of us don't want to do that a lot of us don't have the time to put in to raise a pup so and i know i'm getting a little long-winded here but uh you know this is a this is kind of important subject but uh when you're looking for a pup again i want you know you need to look for a well-bred pup um you know one that comes off of a good uh sire and dam um you know you might have a, a performance pup that's off of uh you know joe blows stud dog but they might have bred it to you know just crap and uh, a lot of times you know you breed it to a to a female that didn't really doing real good then you're going to get mixed results and you, you know you stand more of a chance of getting uh, trashed than you will something good uh, but <clears throat> just be very cautious you know my guys who are just getting in don't be over eager and buy the first dog that's within your price range be cautious of who you buying from um, do your research, hunt with the dogs, uh, and, uh, make sure that you, that you get what you like, and, uh, and then once you do get what you like, it's, it's all about, you know, putting the dog in the woods and hunting it after that, but, uh, uh, good luck to you if you are trying to buy a dog, I hope this video helps some, and, uh, I hope it was a little bit informative to you, and, uh, I'm Xander Cotton with Rocket Bluff Kennels. I want to thank you again for checking out my page.